What's good, everyone, and welcome back. Hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day out there. Here's another episode of Beating My Head on a Brick Wall because I missed all of the Disney's Lorcana, and I didn't buy this set when it came out, right? So I thought the set was going to go down because they had about 600 more sets to come out from Disney's Expo. It was a three-day event, so on the first day, I saw the prices were sky high. And of course, with the small print run, these are pre-release cards for Disney Lorcana coming out in 2023. These prices were not bound to go down. So what we're going to take a look at today is the market. We're going to look at the market right now for graded cards for Lorcana and just show everybody who didn't buy into these cards missed out. So you can go ahead and share the sadness with me. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right. So first and foremost, while we're looking at eBay, we see 23 listings. That is right. Only 23 listings for Lorcana. And we see a lot of Mickeys on here, some Elsa, some Captain Hook, Stitch, and some other stuff. These are the asking prices right now. Buy it now. You also have some bids. The first one is a Mickey. It's only a PSA 9 D23 Expo card for $677. That may not be a bad deal considering a PSA 10 is $1,225 right now, 23 bids, still one day and 18 hours left. You have the Elsa card, 32 bids, one day, 16 hours left at $2,500. $2,000 for the Captain Hook, that is a PSA 9, that is their asking price. And you have the Stitch at $1,825 at 43 bids. So essentially, these were $50 sets at the Expo. You could have got this set for $50, and you could have sent this in to PSA. And if you got 10s, you see the amount of money. that The returns are crazy on this stuff right now. And Elsa, no doubt, was going to take off because all the little girls in the world and females love Elsa and it's an it's a pretty cool card, right? So pretty cool card. You have Maleficent, you have Cruella. But this Mickey card, I do believe, I haven't looked at the numbers, I do believe this was a little bit more common. This was the only card of the set that was glossy, but it wasn't actually holographic. So the rest of the set are full holographic. But this Mickey card is going for a lot of money. And I had people offering me this card raw when it first came out for like $200 and I still didn't hop on it. Big mistake, right? But these cards could still go down in the future. Obviously, there's still a lot of hype right now. And a lot of these will be released in the first set that comes out. They just won't have the D23, um, the Expo stamp on them. So they will be the same uh, you know, card, whatever, the mechanics and all that stuff. But you won't get the pre-release card. So looking right here, these are the sold listings. Now you have a best offer accepted for a lot of them. That was October 7th for the Disney Lorcana Mickey Mouse at $574.99 for a PSA 9. Um, moving on down, let's see some that sold and we can actually see the price. So the Mickey for a PSA 9 is right around $600, $555, a ton of Mickeys right here. You had a PSA 10 best offer accepted at $5,000 right here. So there's not a lot of these either. There's only 12 results right now. Majority of them are Mickey Mouse. And but these these cards are selling right. They are selling right now, and you see a lot of stuff um, which is actually for sale as well in the Lorcana search. So when you look at Disney Lorcana right here, you have five bids for this Elsa card at two hundred and twelve dollars. The full set. This person's asking sixty five hundred dollars. So I would say just a couple of weeks ago, this set was like. $1,800 to about $2,300, and now people are asking $6,500, and there's 16 bids on this one at $3,300. So people are making a lot of money, especially if you got these for $50. Bucks. 10 bids for $3,600 for this set, including the Mickey Mouse. The pin in the Mickey Mouse right now, six days left at $153, and the list goes on. So the set right now is hovering right around, I would say, past $3,500. And this person's asking 8000 10000 It is absolutely bonkers. So which one of you out there picked up this set? Do you think the prices are going to go down? I would say the market is inflated right now, right? Especially for the price of the cards originally for 50 bucks. I mean, it skyrocketed. It took off. It's still going up. But what goes up has to come down. And this market is super hot right now. We don't know when it's going to come down because, of course, the TCG doesn't come out until 2023. So hype is going to remain until it comes out, right, until it builds up because Disney's probably going to put a lot of advertising um, into this card game. So it's only going to make people more and more excited, and they're going to want these cards more and more. And I think post-release, these cards may come down. It also depends on many, many other factors like how well Disney's 
card game lore kind of bodes how well it does does it bode well right does it is it actually a good card game do people enjoy it is the card artwork um what people were expecting is it actually going to be competitive amongst other tcgs now i talked about this in the past i do not think this is competition for something like magic when you look at the competitive atmosphere the competitions that magic has the cards um, are, are just way more serious to me. To me, this is more like a kid's game. Um, you can have fun with it. It's like a family game. So I don't see it really competing with Magic or Pokemon because, I mean, it's, it's Pokemon, right? So, I mean, Disney has some great movies, but they're not messing on Pokemon in that realm. I just don't see it happening, especially when both of these games, Magic and Pokemon, have, you know, like 30 years existence. It's just not happening to me. So, um, but who knows, right? Magic is stepping out of their boundaries. They are moving into other stuff and other collaborations. And a lot of people are not so happy with them right now, especially with that $1,000 booster box coming out of like four packs. So I'm excited to see what these products are going to look like, especially the first booster box. Um, I hope that they get the rights to some of their, their IPs back. So that way we can see some cool stuff coming in the future. You know, stuff like um, Monsters, Inc. I believe they don't have that right. Pixar or Star Wars, and as well as Marvel. It seemed like Vice Swartz is actually making some of those cards as well. So let me know what y'all think. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. The market is booming. Um, once again, I missed out. So, you know, if you, uh, if you didn't miss out, you know, congrats and kudos to you. And I'll see y'all again soon with another video, and I'll see y'all later. Out.